All right, everybody, Economic Ninja here. Thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna talk about supply chain breakdowns and actually something that I haven't even thought of. I, don't, I can't even believe it, the Ninja didn't think about this. We've been talking about shipping uh, issues um, with different countries and how we're gonna have a hard time. It's gonna be a very interesting Christmas. Well, now we got something bigger, airplanes. So without further ado, let's do this. All right, guys, thank you so much. Welcome back to all the new subscribers. I am so grateful that you're here. Thank you so much for everybody that's been throwing the thumbs up. And thank you so much to everybody that are taking these videos and showing it, sharing them on any, any platform they're a part of. Just get the news out there. I thank you so much. All right, so just so you know, at the end of this video, if there's hope at the end of the tunnel, there's light, I mean, there's hope on the horizon, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and guess what? It ain't a train coming. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna give you some hope at the end of this. Cargo airlines are canceling hundreds of flights right now. This was just in the news a couple days ago. An awesome subscriber actually alerted me to it, and so I wanted to go over this. So right now, um, uh, in China, they are restricting tons of flights. Uh, Long-haul aircraft, uh, cargo aircraft, the kinds that can travel around the world, essentially, on one tank of gas, and get uh, products that we we do need here, okay? It's just a fact. We are not a producing country, okay? We've been addicted to Walmart, we've been addicted to Amazon. Get over it, it's just where it is. And I'm super excited, honestly, to be part of the revolution that is bringing manufacturing back to this country. Sad thing is there's gonna have to be a lot of pain involved. And that has to do with pay cuts, all that kind of stuff, but that's just gonna figure itself out. Sorry, I digress. Now, right now, um, approximately 531 flights, which equates to about 43% of daily total uh, cargo airline traffic was just canceled out of um, Beijing. On top of that, 408 flights, or about roughly 33% of uh, uh, cargo flights were scrubbed out of Shanghai, okay? So what does this mean for you? Two things, less crap's coming from China, and, and I don't mean it as a crap as like it's crap. I mean, it's it's cool. I, I like watching TV. I love, you know, watching Hallmark movies at Christmas. So how do I do it? I, on a TV. Where did I get it from? China. So my point is, is there's gonna be less of that stuff to go buy and prices are gonna go up. Why? Because they can do it. Because they're gonna go, uh, just like cars. Uh, there's uh, only five on the lot. Oh, okay, cool, double. Double it. Someone will buy it. Because there's always a crazy person that'll double it, pay for it except for my subscribers when it comes to lumber. Okay, so my point being is this, we're gonna get a lot less stuff. So here's the hope, right? Because there's a lot of people that like Christmas. Now I get it, I'm gonna get some guy on there going, you know, Christmas isn't just about presents. Well, to some people it is, you know? And gosh darn, I, I like watching Christmas movies on Hallmark. I like watching my children open up Christmas presents. I like that feeling of, you know, being around family and all that good stuff until, you know, you've been around your family too much and it's like, all right, get out the door. We'll see you next Christmas. My point being is that one of the things that you could do right now, just knowing this is coming in the craziest time of the year when, when they're trying to get goods over here or getting goods anywhere so that people can enjoy their holidays, it's just maybe, maybe you may just wanna go shopping for Christmas a little early. Yeah, I got some money in my pocket. I got some sweet stimulus money. I'll go drop it on a, uh, a present for Timmy. And cool thing, this is crazy too, is you're probably gonna see some paper shortage. Wrap it! And then it's done. Man, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? You're just like, man, that's like the first time ever because the ninja gave me this idea that my Christmas shopping's done. You know, I think that uh, you're, I don't think we're gonna honestly, and, and I don't mean to be doom or gloom, this is just legit. I don't think you're gonna see Black Friday sales because there ain't gonna be nothing to give you for sale. They're gonna go, uh, it's gonna be called Black Friday, we got something to sell you for a lot of money. So if it was me, I don't think there's uh, really anything wrong with doing your Christmas shopping a little early. And yeah, the truth is, if, if we all went a couple years without you know, going out and spending a bunch of money on crap we don't even need, you know, some, some new fancy blender, it's got the name Ninja on it, I guess that's cool. It's not the end of the world, right? But if you do enjoy that stuff, maybe just go do it now. Just go do some shopping, wrap some presents, hide them up underneath the bed or somewhere that your kids aren't gonna wanna find them. Like, you know, where like all the work stuff is, like in the closet with the cleaning products, <laughs> they'll never look there. And then enjoy your holidays. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. Cargo is gonna go through the roof. Oh, that's the last thing. Cargo is gonna explode in price, air, air freight, just like it is with shipping, especially with all of these increases. And I don't think we've seen anything yet. With that being said, I hope I just pumped a bunch of sunshine into your life, the Economic Ninja. 
is out.